we are here at uh, South by Southwest. First time for me being here for you. Second time for me. Second time for you. But first time in Lady Buzz. So. Okay. And I have to say, it's it's fun. We drive around here. Yeah, let's For do me, it. Also, I'm I haven't to driven it. the car a lot, but um, yesterday I had a chance. I'm very happy. But I'm, I'm really happy this time to come here to the United States because under your leadership, your team, I think we have made substantial progress. No, I have to say. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> I'm back here and, and we have been visiting <laughs> the US and, uh, and you remember we had tens of meetings and uh, difficult decisions to make. PowerPoint slides. But, uh, but I think we really made it. No? You're going to be profitable or you have been profitable last yeah. year. Yeah, I mean, we had the breakthrough last year, which was great, uh, uh, profitable, and uh, and I think no debate. That's not now a random event, that's now consistently what we will be. And I think, honestly, Herbert, we can. The reason we can is now, you know, 70% of our portfolio is the SUVs, the Alice, really doing great. The new Taos. Still doing great. Doing great, absolutely. Yeah, let me really thank you for that. I think you've made really, and you've been very successful with Audi, you know, and it seems that you can replicate this success or even even go further with Volkswagen, which is, uh, I think, uh, for me, it's, it's a great experience and also personally uh, uh, something I really wanted to happen. So thank you for that. Congratulations. Uh, it's, it's what, the team. <laughs> what can we say about the future? Yeah, I mean, to me, the, uh, the, the future is clear. I think step one, if you want to call it simplistically, get our act together. We've done that. We're profitable, we're stable, we've got the right mix. Good. The second one, we really got to slam the play pedal, as you're hitting right there, right now, on electrification. I think ramping up, exactly, <laughs> ramping up now with the uh, with the ID4. We've got to get that car to 100,000 units, 120,000 units. We've got to deliver a big number. We've got to get out of being the 2.5 share brand, and let's go get five points of share, or in this segment, six, seven points of share. So that's the big thing. And then, you know, the final piece of the puzzle to me, honestly, Herbert, is all of the products are fine, electrification is fine, but we want to get Volkswagen to be a loved cultural icon again. And that's where this just crazy machine comes in. It just brings the love and that's the third piece of the plan. Get the brand loved again. So This will be my first chance. Your turn. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Driving ID Buzz with the boss? He can't beat it. Space inside is just unbeatable. Yep. Yeah. And I think, you know, Herbert, that's exactly the conversion. And I think a portion of America is ready for it. Exactly. If you compare it to Honda Odyssey, forget it. But if you compare it to someone who wants three rows with this packaging and uh, and plus a car that makes such a difference on the road, it's not a who cares car. It's a, so uh, yeah. I think there's something there. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to tell you, there was a. Uh, uh, a little girl in Michigan. I don't know her, but she heard about the ID Buzz, and she gave me these two paintings, these beautiful paintings. She was probably eight years old. And I keep them in my office, and she painted the old bus, the Type One, and then the new ID okay. Buzz. And I said, "There's that kind of love out there."